Hi, Michelle. Hello, how are you? How are you? Well, for our viewers, I will say that this is our first session together, so I'd like to give you an opportunity to share a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, well, I was born a medium, mm -hmm. um, reluctant most of my life, mm. um, hid it away, hid it away um, until I was in my 20s, and then I started doing readings, and... Uh, ran into a situation where and some work that I was doing with that traumatized me a bit so I put it away oh. for a that, good that's 10 so, years. That's so common with mediums. It's such a bittersweet gift, you know? Yeah, and and in the process of, of that 10 year span or so that that I, I was ignoring it, um, I developed all kinds of health issues. And I bet. And and it boils to the surface. You can't when you're when you when you're born with it. You, you really just can't put it away forever. No. Um. And it boils to the surface, and and it boiled to the surface to the point where I'm back and uh, and and I'm doing readings again and redeveloping that that base of of being able to help people. Yeah, a friend I of just, mine, a friend of mine who's a medium, Robert. He has the same problem. He has all sorts of health issues, but when he channels, he feels so much better. It, it, it's amazing. Um, once I once I started accepting, and actually listening, and actually passing the messages on that were being brought to me, um, a lot of those ailments are are going away. Good. Um, and it, it is amazing that when when you're doing what you're supposed to do, <laughs> that that life becomes much easier for you. And we're going to talk about that the, the aligning with our mm -hmm. life purpose. But how did you meet Eric? Well, I had received a message um, from a young man that had also taken his life that wanted a message to be given to his mother. Okay. So I had, I had called his mother to pass the message on, and when I hung up with her, I walked into my living room, and there he kind of was, lounging on my couch, and he sits up, and he's, he's, he's scolding me, but he's kind of being fun about it. Oh, yeah, and he says about He says, about damn time you came back. Mm-hmm. Good. And then he was gone. And that was I've been watching the videos for years, but that was the first time Eric had ever actually um made communication with me. And I, I kinda think it was probably the situation that I was just working yeah, with. Of course. So do um, you tell tell me now about your relationship with him. Sorry if he pesters you too much. I you know, he can be like a pesky little brother. No, he's fine. I've it, it I've used to having people and and spirits around me um quite frequently oh yeah as long as he doesn't as long as he doesn't mess with me during my private times then i'm good yeah really and i hope he doesn't no he hasn't so okay. far so well he hangs but, around uh, me when i take a bath so but well what, your mom i know your mom i used to we i used to take baths with all my kids for a long time so it was it was the deal, but I channel him best when I'm in water for some reason. I guess it grounds me or something. So how is he doing now? Is he with us? He is. He is. He's here. Um, he showed up a little bit ago, knowing that what we were going to talk about today, and and uh, he peeks around the corner of my office door wearing the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Oh really? Oh my gosh! And I said, "What are you doing?" He's like. Got to figure out what you want to do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. What's he wearing? Or can you see him outside of yourself or in your mind? Um, it, it's kind of a combination of both. Okay. Um, since it's something that I've always been able to do, it's hard for me to describe. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's like you trying to describe how you see something yeah. with your eyes Yeah. Um, because you, you've always known it. Yeah. Um, so it's, I guess it would be a combination of both. Okay. Um, so I don't know how to describe it any better than that's that. That's fine. That's fine. What does he look like he's wearing now? Uh, well, he's he got rid of the sorting hat. So, but he, he's in jeans. He's got a blue t-shirt on. So. Okay. All right. Well, Eric, are you ready to uh, rock and roll? 
I'm ready, Mom. All right. Well, uh, I understand you want to talk about aligning with life purpose. Or maybe it was Michelle's idea, but whatever, it's a great idea. Because, you know, so well, a lot of us don't even know our life purpose. Let's start off with that. How in the world do we find out what our life purpose is? Well, I mean, there's lots of ways that you can find out. Well, he's saying that for people to just pay attention to what brings them joy. Mm. Um, he said what brings them peace. He's like, you know, when you're doing something and it just feels good right here in your chest. Mm. He, he says... That's that's a good signal that that's something that you'd be good at. It, it resonates with your energy. So it's in your heart. You feel it in your heart? Sort of your heart chakra, yeah. maybe? Maybe. I I personally don't know about heart chakras, but he's shaking, shaking his head, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, um, and he, he's saying for people that don't pay attention to things like that, you know, there's other modalities. Um Modalities was my word, not his, sorry. Okay. Um, he, he's saying that, you know, um, numerology mm -hmm. um, is one way. Um, astrology is another. Um, meditation. Mm -hmm. He's like, but a lot of people won't do that. And no, they won't. But, um, I know. It's so, it takes such patience and practice. And a lot of people make too big of a deal out of it. It's not like totally clearing your mind. It's just putting your mind in a state of being the observer, from what I've learned from Eric, right. anyway. Yeah, that that's true, and it can be done in five minutes. Mm -hmm. But he he's saying, people, if you just take five minutes, start there. You know, learn to just focus inward, um, and and you'll be surprised at what you learn. That's true. Okay, and you could probably listen to your to your channel thoughts. I'm sure your guides are probably sending you thoughts that don't seem to be your own thoughts. You know, that seem seem. I didn't think that up. You know, and uh, and so ask your your guides and angels to yeah. to help you find your life exactly. purpose. Or you can call into exactly. our radio show every Thursday and ask Eric personally. Or there you the, go. Ask Eric uh, magazine column when I call out for questions. Uh, or you can book a session with Michelle here, and uh, yeah. and, and we'll give you uh, guys. We'll give you her information, and, and I will put it on, on the YouTube too at the very end. Uh, but anyway, so how, what about aligning with the life purpose? He says that well, we're all. He's, he's saying we're all here for a purpose. Um, okay. Um, might not be any extravagant purpose. Not everybody's here to save the world. No. Um, but you're here for your experience. Mm -hmm. And he's saying everybody is here for a specific purpose. And when you're living in alignment with that purpose, slow down. Um, when you're living, not that slow. <laughs> when you're living in your purpose, um, he says, you will be happier. You'll be more at peace. You will be, life will, universe will bring you more. Mm. What is that when sound? When you align. Do, do, do you hear that sound? That's my dog. That's oh, my dog. Oh, we got a, both of our dogs here. Okay. I thought that was Eric yeah, teasing you, talking really slowly. But, no, uh, he's actually scratching his ear. He sounds like a my, big dog. He is a Mastiff Shepherd. Oh, that's, combination. A big, that's a big one. This is Bella. She looks huge, but she's only three pounds. People came over to our Channeling Eric event in Houston and thought, oh my God, she's so much smaller than I thought. So she's always here oh. with, with the sessions. But anyway, sorry. I've seen her. She's, a, she's adorable. Sorry, Eric. I interrupted you. No need to be sorry, Mom, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry my dog interrupted the session. No, I don't care. My dog always does. Okay, so, so um, how to align with the, well, before we go into that, and I know I've been all over the place here, but is there any t difference between life purpose and spiritual mission? Yes and no. Um, they really are kind of very much the same. Mm -hmm. um, when you align with your life purpose, you may not complete your mission, but you are on course to do so. Okay. He says, How do I 
No, no, no. Um, he says, when you are in line with your energy, you can't, you can't create your spiritual purpose if you're not in line with your energy either. So if you're, purpose for being here is 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 for a certain thing mm -hmm. and you're not in line with your energy mm -hmm. and you are just here slugging through um you, you're not going to attain that goal right right okay and he, and he's saying he's like mom you know there's so many people that are struggling um depression anxiety yeah. are are huge indicators that you're not on online with your oh, purpose yeah um, and what ends up happening is they end up giving you drugs I know and he's like and he's like giving you drugs yeah so and and, and all it does is mask the problem yeah and 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 if people would just put the energy that they put into going and getting help not that they don't need to go get help because a lot of people really do mm -hmm. he says but if they would put equal energy into spiritually aligning themselves mm -hmm. they would see that these conditions are fixable well how do we get derailed or, or how is it that some of us never get aligned with our spiritual purpose or or again, get derailed from it. Well, he's saying, he's like, well, society expectations. Mm, um, yeah. You know, you know, what we may want to do may not be acceptable. Um, or, well, you know, I can only speak for my case, but yeah, he's, he's saying, um, say you have, uh, a bunch of lawyers are a family both parents are lawyers here this is just as an example okay. they want their their children to follow in their footsteps but that child doesn't want to be a lawyer he wants to be a carpenter okay and because he enjoys working with his hands and mm -hmm. building things but that's kind of looked down upon <clears throat> because it's it's not in line with what his family wants him to do yeah so he puts away what he wants to do to him appease the family and ends up not being happy where he's at mm -hmm. okay he's living a completely different energy than he came here to live so that's the biggest reason for derailment i'm sure society peers mothers fathers exactly. siblings yeah friends okay now how can we get aligned with our life purpose um, like, I, like he said before, um, meditation oh, all would those be things, yeah. a good thing. Um, if, if you don't know, or if you want a, a quick answer, I want a quick I mean, answer. I want a quick and easy right now. Step one, step two, uh, yeah. step three, step four, a to-do list. Come on. Well, the easy, the easiest he's saying is numerology. You basically got nine numbers, nine, one, okay. two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. He says, you do have some master numbers. There's only like 11, 22, and 33. Okay. He's like, but the, the process behind numerology, he says, is, is each number has a predictable vibration. Yeah. And Interesting. And in those, each person is born into a life path number mm -hmm. that will resonate that vibration. Okay. And, and that is the easiest, quickest way to find out. You know, I think I had an app on my iPhone that, I don't know if it was Life Path or something, but it was a numerology app that was so incredible. It, it did everything about, you know, what your life path is, what your weaknesses and strengths are, relationships. It's huge. I'll try to find it while Eric keeps talking. <laughs> Can't keep yeah, on he's, my iPhone. He's, He's, well, he's, he's, he's telling me, he, he's, t I guess he's telling me this because numerology was one of the things that I went to, to find out what my life path was after I had, um, shut out everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
because you know here I, I just want to live a normal life you know I just yeah wanna, of course sometimes I just want to be like everybody else and and oh, I was sure. hoping a numerologist could tell me well you need to um, be an architect or something like that mm -hmm. how old were you when worth, you did that um, that was a probably actually a few years ago because it was after I shut down my gifts okay after I was ignoring them, kind of just putting them away, and and when I had my reading done, um, she came back, and I don't know all the ins and outs myself of the numerology, but she came back and she said that first words out of her mouth, she says, "Holy cow!" Mm. She says, "Are are you a medium?" Whoa! And I and I said reluctantly, this <laughs> was my yeah response to her and i said why do you say that she says you have two 11s master number 11s wow in your core four, core four numbers mm -hmm. so my life path is an 11 and so is my soul urge wow. so she's like that's she's like a lot of people you know 11s kind of not as common but it's even less common to have two in your life path yeah i think the name of the app is peaceful warrior app you guys check I'll it out on the up. check it out on the iTunes uh, on the App Store or uh, Google Play for Android. So I'm I'm pretty sure that was it. But you can also just kind of look around, just search something under Life Path or Numerology, etc. So, wow. So, Eric, how would you? Yeah, he's saying he's he's saying he's saying that's it's actually it's a very good representation. All right. He's like, yeah, that's right. He's like, he says. Numerology is, is the simple way to go. Simple way to go. Okay. Uh, how would you characterize Michelle's life path other than to say she's to be a medium? Anything else? Well, no. She's here for more than just medium. She's she's here as as an illuminator or an light to enlighten. Okay. Um, and and to help people heal. And how is she to do that? Well, she's she's starting to do it right. He says. Um, Yay! Accept, <laughs> accepting, accepting, and and using the gifts that I was born with um, is the first step. Okay. And he said he, he's saying I'm going to make sure she continues. <laughs> All right. So, what is my la life purpose, and am I aligned with it? Um, Be gentle. Gulp. I would think that you you are aligned with it. Um, Eric saying this. I'm no. That's me saying it. Okay. He's he's, scratch, he's scratching his chin, <laughs> but but he's like yes. He says yes. You are aligned with it. Okay. Um, you you are also into. You also want to heal people. Mm, yeah. And 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 you get soul gratification in doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything I'm not doing that I should be doing? He says, you're doing great, Mom. Okay. All right. Well, there's the people that want me to do other things, and I feel like, ugh, I don't know if I have time or energy for all those things. You know, like starting an online course for a spirituality course for adults and then possibly even kids 10 to 17 or something. And... Uh, I'm supposed to write a big 6,000 word chapter for a book. So, but, so, yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes we're aligned with our life purpose, but we don't get the max out of it, I guess, you know? It's one thing being aligned, but it, it's, it, some people aren't fully doing everything they need to do. And that's hard. Well, he says, Mom, do what you can do. Do, do what is, don't do too much that's going to wear you down. Mm -hmm. But he says, remember, he's saying, delegate, delegate, delegate. I know, it's hard. Not my strong suit. He said, no, it's not. <laughs> no. Anything else about aligning with your life path, a life purpose? He just wants to make sure that everybody, everybody out there can take the time to find out what their purpose is. Mm -hmm. So that they don't run into the depression and anxiety and mm -hmm. physical ailments that 
can make your existence here, your experience here, more miserable than they have to be. Yeah, absolutely. And you can ask Michelle, the Midwest medium, too. So what is your website so people can get in touch I, with you? TheMidwestMedium.com. Oh, well, that makes it easy. TheMidwestMedium.com. Where do you live? I am south of southeast of St. Louis. Okay. Southwest so of St. Louis. Definitely so in the I'm, Midwest. So I'm in Missouri. Definitely mm-hmm. in the Midwest. That's awesome. Eric, anything you want to share before we close? Um, he is... He's messing with my dog. Eric. Focus, Eric. ADD. <laughs> Mom says focus. Spirit ADD. He says, he says, love everybody. And he says, love you, Mom. Thank you. And thanks. I love you too, Eric. So uh, just make sure he doesn't pester you too much. I think it w- will be okay. I think you I think too. we'll be okay. Because if he does pester me, I'll tell him to go away. Good. Yeah, <laughs> you tell him. Bad boy. All right, put him in timeout. That's what I used to do. I'll tell. I'll threaten that. I'll tell him I'm going to call your mom. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. All right. I'll, well, I'll tell. Thank you, Michelle. I'll send this to thank you right you. away. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Eric. I love you. Love you too, mom. This was great. It was new for me. I've never done the video. Awesome. Well, you did great. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you.